Hi guys, it's Gigi. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be giving you the lowdown on what I've been doing for skincare. I've been in makeup for a solid 14 hours. It is 2 a.m. in the morning and I am ready to go to bed, but I thought I would film this because today was not a casual glam day. I have fake lashes on. I have the darkest smoky eye of life, full coverage foundation. I have lip gloss. I have a matte lip under this and I've wanted to film this video, but I was like, no, I'm going to wait until I have the fullest beat of life on so you guys can see how I take it off and all of my tried and true products. I am also wearing a wig right now. I've been doing this frequently because I want to give my hair a break. I'm a natural blonde, but I go very, very light with bleach and I'm always styling my hair. So I like to give it a break and wear wigs once in a while. Just put the wig on and it looks lit. And then when you take it off at night, you look like a drowned rat. So without further ado, let's just get the hair off so you can see the real me and I can be embarrassed. <laughs> Actually, no, bye. I'm not, I'm not doing this video. And just like that, she's bald. <laughs> and yes, I do wear a bald cap just to make sure my head is as flat as possible. So what I've been doing a lot recently is choosing a hair mask of my preference and literally dousting my hair in it before I go to bed. So what I've been using a lot recently is the Remedy Colorless Hair Mask. And this stuff smells so good. It kind of smells like minty. Mm. I've been putting this and a little bit of oil on my hair every night and I just ran out of my Oribe oil But this is a really great dupe. This is the L'Oreal Paris L Vive So I just dampen my hair put a little bit of this and by a little I mean a lot and then I probably put five of these pumps in it just to make that extra extra Nourishing and as you can see my hair is kind of going all different kinds of ways because it was under the wig all day So this is what I'm talking about. Can you have a girlfriend or boyfriend or fiance or husband or wife bitch? Get into it. All right, so I flip my hair. I just get it a little bit wet. How crazy do I look right now? I'm dying. And then I just put probably this much hair mask in. I'm gonna go in with this oil. And then I like to put it in a low bun. Just so all that product can really sit down there and kind of like bake and juice into all my split ends. So I recently went to the masterclass with Mario Dedevanovic. This was in our little package. This is the Glove Bunny Ears Headband. And I've seen these online, but obviously this is a new one. So we shall see what's all the rage. <laughs> and then twist. Am I going to look like a grandma with this? I mean... <laughs> Are we kidding? Is this cute or no? So first thing I do is I take off my lashes and today was one of those days where my left eye was watering so much, but these are kind of full on lashes. So I'm very happy to have those off right now. The next thing I do is I'm gonna be taking this Bobbi Brown Soothing Cleansing Oil, but most importantly, I need to take off my rings because I just hate the feeling of putting makeup on my rings or getting like moisturizer or anything on them. So I'm gonna put those aside. I like to kind of do a lot. So I'm not kind of like, tugging my eyes and moving everything around too much. And as you can see, bitch, it's literally taking everything off already. So this is just the first step of taking everything off. And around my eyes, I like to use just a single finger. I try to. Once you work it in a good amount, you should have something that looks like this. I'm gonna wash this off and be right back. So I know I look crazy, but what I love about this product is it's oil. So it really doesn't feel too drying taking off your makeup because usually when you go in with like a cleansing cloth or a makeup wipe, sometimes you can feel super raw, but this just gets the majority off. And as you can tell, like, look how shiny my forehead is. That's like pretty clean already. Usually I have a bunch left over around my eyes, but that's fine. So we're going to go in with the bifacial double action eye makeup remover by Lancome. And this is a new product to me, but I've been loving it. And I just take that on a little cotton pad and press it into my eyes and already a lot's coming off. And I'm not being harsh at all. I used to be so crazy rubbing off my eye makeup, but just way better for you to press it off like this. Oh, she's coming back. Do we see it? So once you're done with that, you have basically all of your makeup off and I feel so clean right now and so vulnerable and bare, but I'm going to do one more layer. This is the Rodeal Dragon's Blood Cleansing Water. I've been obsessed with this stuff. I really feel like it just gets 
everything off. And once you're done moisturizing and doing all your stuff, it really does make your skin look so even and gorgeous. I talked about it recently in my monthly favorites videos, but I definitely feel like this is a must have. Like I love doing this after I cleanse my face. I just feel so clean and I feel like it just really makes you glow. I like to really focus it on my nose and on my forehead and on my chin. I have very sensitive skin, so really anything I do makes my skin kind of gag at first, but in the long run, it really evens out and it looks really pretty. From my entire face, this is what was left on the pad, so without this cleanser, I really feel like I'd be missing a lot. Another product from the Masterclass, this is the new Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream, and I've been loving this. It's epic. I use kind of a lot. That's how much I use on my whole face. After all of that cleansing and wiping off, I really like to go in with like the most moisture ever. And this stuff is like truly silky and thick and gorge. You really just feel like your skin is just like having a drink, <laughs> like it's just everything. What I like to do too is I like to kind of pat it into my skin. So once that is all absorbed, I go in with my eye cream. This is the Creamy Eye Treatment by Kiehl's. This has been my eye cream forever. Oh, and I just pat it in until it's gone. I literally just got this. This is the crystal roller from House of Intuition and I'm not really super into crystals and all that stuff, but my friend gave me this and I'm like dying. It's rose quartz and you're supposed to like, ooh, it's nice and cold. So it's like zhuzh it up on your face. I'm honestly like, what is this? I guess just like roll it up. This is like supposed to like open your heart or something. So I'm just sitting here like, what is this? There's like a little side for like, I guess, a little under the eye moment. <laughs> I don't know, but it feels really nice. It's so cold. Ooh, maybe this will help with my redness. And the last thing I do, I've been obsessed with this Tarte Dream Mist. Or no, it's not Tarte, it's their like new brand, Awake. It's this Dream Mist that's supposed to be for your pillow. It smells like lavender, but honestly, if I have clothes on and I'm washing my face, I can't help but put this on myself. It literally just smells like a spa. It just makes me feel so clean, like more so than I already am. I just love it. So that is my skincare routine, start to finish. I switch out my products all the time, but that's what's been working for me right now. I feel crazy with these ears on. They've kind of morphed into like bull horns. Anyways, I really hope you guys enjoyed the skincare routine video. Let me know any products I should try. Oh, I forgot to mention, this Ultra Facial Moisturizer from Kiehl's is my second favorite moisturizer ever. Whenever I'm having like a blemish or a breakout or anything where I don't know what's going on with my skin, I will just go back to this and instantly everything will go away. So this is kind of like my home base moisturizer. So if you have like problematic skin, definitely try this out. And yeah, thank you guys for watching and until I see you guys in my next video, stay gorgeous.